Hey, welcome to Off the Ranch. I'm really glad that you're here. We're out here in the barn, aka the HQ, and uh, we are putting up the vault walls today. Galotech has sent us their hanging system, which we have in my underground vault at the house, but I wanted a big vault out here so that, you know, I can continue uh, growing my collection and my wife, uh, you know, it doesn't get really mad at me. But I also wanted to show you some other updates. These lights are really cool looking. Uh, so I got this idea from Brad DeBerti. He put it in his garage and it looks totally awesome. We also put it in the vault. This is just our break room right here, conference room kind of thing. This is just gonna be a big room for doing whatever meetings, um, office area, that kind of thing, flex space. We have normal can lights all in here and they're on, which is cool. Then come in here into the vault. We have a little bit of that kind of honeycomb light on. We have the outside on. And it's actually pretty bright with just that. And you're gonna hear a lot of banging and drilling. There's a guy up here, um, he's doing the electric up above so he can get the center turned on as well. You can see right now we just have a bunch of, bunch of wires sticking out as we slowly start rigging all this stuff up. But this is gonna be the vault. You can see we have a huge Fort Knox door right there. And we are going to put our Galotech hanging system all around here so we can get all of our QQs up and displayed nicely and neatly. And then this lighting will make it look sick in here. And then later we'll figure out some kind of big central table or something in here. We'll figure that out later. But today, all we're working on is lights and walls to make this thing almost ready to move some pew pews in. So this is the panels, it's pretty cool. This mounts to the wall, this is the top plate here. And then this just goes right over it, screws to that, and then you can put panels down below that, hanging from that, and they plug in right here. They have little, ugh, little holes on the top of that that hook to a little piece of sticking out right here. And so we are gonna put ours, I think, four high. In my other vaults, we had just a seven foot ceiling in there. Um, and so we had three high. This one has nine feet ceilings, so we can put a lot more height on it. So we're gonna have four stacked high and cover the walls in this. This product is super cool. Uh, there's a bunch of companies you can do this with, um, but we went with Galatech because it looked cool. I mean, I just seen on the internet, it looked cool. Did some research and it was pretty good stuff um, from what I could see. And I got it, I love it. And they actually did send all this to me um, again because I was like, hey, I got another bigger vault. You guys want to outfit this thing? And they were like, yeah, we're all in. So Galatech, thank you guys for helping out with the channel. Thanks for support. And we are going to put this product up and it is super cool. Last time we had a guy come out from Galatech to install it. This time we're tackling it ourselves because it looks, looks pretty doable. We could use your help though. What we got? 97, 97. So we're going to want our line across the top so we know where to put the top. How high do you have here? Perfect. So in the other one, we actually cut out around the little electrical plates here. Um, this one, we're just gonna set it all above it. So we're gonna go all the way, almost all the way to the ceiling and it'll fit perfect. This is Mitch. He's How's the man? man. He's done a lot of behind the scenes stuff uh, on the house build. He doesn't like being on camera, but I'm forcing him to today.
that one's all screwed to the wall. And then this comes up in here. I should have done this on the ladder so I could see. And that locks into that. And I put screws down here. That one is set. looking freaking good okay so this obviously a full panel can't fit there and they have a couple little half panels that will fit there but we don't have the piece to hook them and I don't want to wait I think I want to go ahead and get these three walls as done as we can with the pieces we have because I don't want to have to wait till the other order comes in so we're actually just gonna cut those we're gonna get some of these big panels we have all the ones on this we need we're gonna cut those to fit right here, and then we'll go ahead and fill in this wall, and then we'll count and see what else we need and just get those ordered so that we can do this wall later. But today, ideally, three walls. God, these lights, so cool. I love it. We uh, painted the ceilings black just so they would really stand out too. And I was worried that it might make it too dark in here, but there's so much light in here. I'm like stupid excited about that. Oh, by the way, this is our Demolition Ranch monthly subscription shirt. Uh, you have to order it, I think in the next two weeks to get this one, but you can sign up for a monthly subscription shirt. They're a little bit cheaper than our normal shirts and you get a new custom design every week. So this is kind of one that I wanted to do like a, kind of an old Western theme. So we got a brown shirt with tan ink and it looks amazing. So link in the description below if you want to sign up for our subscriptions. You can just do one month and you'll get this one or you can do a multi and you'll get even better ones. Okay, so we cut that to go perfectly right there. It's gonna be great. So now we need to cut three more. Two, three, we have one more coming. We're actually gonna have to hang all these together first and then hang it all as a big unit because we stepped in the corner and the way these things have to slide sideways to lock together, that wasn't gonna work. So we're gonna put it all together and then try to hang it all up there. up today there's this little sliver here we're gonna cut another little sliver and fill that in right there just so it goes all the way to the wall and then all we'll have to do later is come back and do this one wall we'll have three quarters of the place completely done and looking freaking 
fabulous. And this is really easy to install. Also, we knew we were putting these up, and so we had the room like made knowing this. And so this has cinder block and concrete walls all behind it, but then we came up and built a framed out wood wall all on the inside of this because it makes it super easy. We didn't want to like be drilling into our cinder block either. So we make it super easy to come in. We just put wood screws, screw all this on. It's super secure, gonna hold a lot of weight, it'd be no problem. Looking amazing. And just like that, we're done. So that wall, completely done. This wall, completely done. And this wall, completely done. All we have left is the door wall. We are just missing the pieces to get it finished today. And then we need to get all the hangers. I brought some of these down from my other vault just to, we wanted to make sure that these, you know, span the gap and everything. But that's what's cool about them is you can put it on one like this or you can put it across them. They all line up. And then this is like for hanging a helmet on. But they got all kinds of stuff. They have big shelves for um, putting like a bunch of stacked rifles. They've got uh, other shelves for pistols and they have big like pistol stackers. They have ones that display, if you have a really big sniper or something, it displays it. So they have everything, it's pretty cool and it's gonna look so good with these walls and this light set up in here. We're also going to get, I don't know, I'll just think in two different ways. A big long table, I think would look really cool, like, you know, right there and have like a workbench, have a place where you could work on them, you know, mount scopes, that kind of thing. But then also I was like, man, this would be really cool for like a, I don't know if we ever did like a podcast or something in here, which I don't want to start doing podcasts like a lot, but if, you know, unsubscribed podcast wanted to come do it out of the vault or something and we had like a, you know, a diagonal podcast table in there and that's your backdrop right there, it would look pretty sweet as well. So we managed to get a table that can do both. If we ever wanted to film video content, whatever in here, we could just turn it and have a really awesome backdrop. Um, but for day to day stuff, we're just, we're using it. We have a big work table that, Looks cool. I don't want just a big plywood table. I want something that looks neat to match how cool this vault looks. But love the lights, love the lights, and love the walls. Looking so good. We'll finish this stuff at a different day. Technologies, you guys get the first sticker in the vault. I'll start putting some of the companies that support us in here. Fort Knox, appreciate you guys. You guys get it, a big old thing on the front of the door. Other companies though, we're gonna put right in here. Get their stickers. Galatech, you've made it into my vault, which as everyone knows, means that you made it into my heart. It's exactly the same thing. Thanks guys. And while we were working on that, they got the other light done in the conference room, break room. So this looks, you might be like, why is it off centered? Our table is going to be right there. So we have this stuff, there's gonna be a big fridge there, there's gonna be a dishwasher there, sinks over there. So all that stuff's gonna be there, kind of the kitchenette area. And then over here will be a big table. So the table's gonna be off centered, so we wanted the light to be centered with the table. So that will be all over our table and chairs, big rectangular table and chairs right here. Gonna pull the room together. Make it pop. I am a fan of these lights. I don't know if I've said that yet. I'm a fan. They actually are a huge pain. We ordered them off Amazon. Brad DeBerdy told me where to get them. We ordered them, they're a huge pain because they came in a box that was about this big uh, with all this stuff. So all these little junctions you see, which it's actually really hard to see on my camera, but all those little junctions, those were individual pieces that had to be put together. Every line was separate. So it didn't come in this big thing. That piece was separate. This piece was separate, that piece was separate. Had to build it all. When it showed up in tiny box, we were like, oh no, what have we done? But got it all together. It was a pain in the butt to put together, but it is done now and looks freaking awesome. I have no idea what happens when like one piece goes out. Like I, I don't know if you're just screwed or if you have to order a whole new one or if we just take it down and say, well that looks cool for a year until it started breaking apart because it was some cheap Amazon light. But 
I don't know. It looks awesome right now. But Matt, don't you already have a vault? Why would you need another vault? Um, uh, no reason. I just feel like I might need another one. Uh, we are going to get some of these little trim pieces as well, so it covers up all the screws, and they actually go on top and bottom. So we're gonna get that as well, and then I'm gonna sit there tonight and tomorrow and like look at all the hangers that they have, because they have a ton of different uh, hangers, all these things that can do, you know, a ton of different things with all your pew pews, and so I need to figure out exactly, not exactly, I'm not gonna get it exact, but I need to figure out about what I need, get all those coming in, and then probably figure out again. This vault that's metal everywhere is so echoey. The other one, since it has the wood right underneath the Galotech walls, it like doesn't echo, doesn't echo like this. And I, the taller ceilings help a little bit as well, I'm sure. That's it, Galotech is mostly three quarters installed in the new vault. Once we get the rest of it in and get a security system in that building and some electricity and all that kind of stuff, we are going to uh, finally get the pew pews off the ground in here because it's just as sad seeing the mess. There's just a mod deuce just on the ground. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Off the Ranch. Big things coming in the new HQ very soon. I love you, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>